Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a review and swatch video and also a giveaway on the new limited edition Wet n Wild fall collection. I think it's called Lush Fall or yeah, Autumn Lush. I think that's what it's called. The collection is called Autumn Lush. Um, and I have all of the products today. I'm going to be swatching the liquid lipsticks on my lips. I'm going to be swatching the eyeshadows on my hand. And I also have eyeshadow tutorials on the two eyeshadow palettes in with this collection. Um, one of the tutorials I already have posted on the plaid to the bone. This other one with Velour Vixen. It's on this makeup look today, which I'll have that video posted on Wednesday of this week. And then I'm also going to film a more wearable look with this palette, which will be posted Friday of this week. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get into my review of these. Also, with the giveaway, I have all of the products that I'm going to mention today. All of the ones in this Autumn Lush collection. I'm going to be giving them all away. So, um, I have all the products in this bag here. So if you would like to enter my giveaway to win all of these fall, autumn, or the Wet n Wild limited edition Autumn Lush products, just go down to the description box and check out my rules for the giveaway and just do whatever the steps are to be entered into my giveaway. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get into the review. First, I'm going to talk about the eyeshadow palettes, these little trios. Oh my goodness, like these trios are amazing and awesome and I love them and they are totally worth this collection. Like, I mean, I love everything honestly in this collection. I think they're everything in this collection is awesome. So these eyeshadows, they're super pigmented. Um, you've got like this color here, which I have it on my eyelid. It ends up kind of looking like a really, really dark plum black color and it has glitters in it which the glitters don't show up a whole lot. I did add glitter on top of the eyeshadow today. Um, then you have this really beautiful cranberry color and it's got a little bit of like a sheen to it. It's not super shimmery and then you have a matte just flesh tone bone color. So yeah that's what the Velour Vixen palette looks like swatched. And then with the other eyeshadow trio, this is in Plaid to the Bone. And you, like the colors in this are also really nice. The only one that I find not to be super pigmented when you swatch it is the navy blue shade. For some reason, it just doesn't swatch well. Um, but the other shades, which I don't know, maybe like once I get kind of like that first layer of the eyeshadow kind of worn down, it might swatch better because it is swatching better now than what it did when I first got it. Um, so yeah, with this palette, you just have a beautiful bronze color. Um, I totally swatched this with the wrong hand. I'm just going to put it over here. So you have a really pretty, just shimmery bronze. It's so, so pretty, super pigmented. Then you have a matte navy color, which like I said, when you go to swatch it, it doesn't really come off super like opaque, but when you go to use it on your eyelids, it is a lot more pigmented. It's kind of strange. And then you have this bottom shade here, which is like a duochrome color, which I know that some of you guys were asking me if this was similar to the one in the comfort zone palette. Like I'll have to swatch them side by side as so you can see, but they are a little different. I find that the comfort zone one has more of like that reddish brown undertone, especially when you turn your hand to the side and stuff, where this one is just more like green and brown. Like it doesn't have that reddish brown undertone to it as much as the Comfort Zone palette. So yeah, I just love both of these eyeshadow palettes. I really feel like they are totally worth the money, which they're super affordable. I know that they're probably really hard to find, but you can also get them on wetandwildbeauty.com. Um, so yeah, I'll link that down below if you guys are interested in this or you can just enter my giveaway and hope to win these. And then with the mascaras, I'm just going to touch on these just a little bit. I do have the purple mascara on my lashes today. I don't know if you can really see, which I know it's really bright with the lights, but I do have the purple on today. So you get like this, they have this pretty purple one, which I can't remember all of their names. I'll have to just put it in the video because it doesn't have the names in the packaging, but it's kind of just like a dark 
purple. Then you have this bronze, which I really like this bronzy one. I think it looks really pretty. Like it kind of is just like a brown bronze. I really like this one. I use this mascara quite a bit. And then they also released this blue one. It's just like a blue. And then they also released a green one, which I really like this green one too. So that's what the green one looks like. So the only color that I really haven't worn that much is this blue one. I really haven't experimented with that one very much. Now with these mascaras, on their own, they're not the best. Like they're not super volumizing and the color doesn't show up a ton. But what I have found with these mascaras to make them look awesome and amazing is this L'Oreal Voluminous Primer Base. Like this is a white primer that you put on like before your mascaras. And I find that if I put this down, like curl my lashes up, <laughs> I find that if I curl my lashes up, apply this primer base, let it dry, like I apply several coats of this, and then go in with the colored mascara that I wanna use. It does make the colored mascara pop more, like show up more. And it also helps the mascara to look more voluminous and just it makes your lashes look a lot better when you use this primer base. So if you did maybe pick up these mascaras or if you're thinking about them, I definitely recommend that you pick up this primer base to go along with them. The liquid lipsticks. Um, well, I guess they're like a matte liquid lipstick. Yeah, you get four or they came out with four different shades. So there is this really bright red one, which is in the color How Fleek Is Your Love. Um, then they have this one here, which is kind of like a magenta color. This is Too Tulip to Quit. And then there's two brown colors, which are really dark. And honestly, on me, like these, especially this one here, comes off as almost black this one isn't I mean this one is still like super dark on my lips and I do find that these kind of dry a little bit darker than what they are in the tube so these two colors here this one is in don't be a plum plum <laughs> the names on these are so funny to me and then this one is take it like a vamp the really really dark one so I'm just going to wipe off the lipstick that I have on right now and I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you guys can, so you can see what they look like on. I do find that these liquid matte lipsticks are very long wearing, um, but I do find that they are, they can be a tad drying. So just keep that in mind if your lips are like the type of lips to get super, super dry. Um, you might need to take like a balm or something to put on top throughout the day like to keep your lips moisturized. So the first one I'm going to put on is the Too Tulip to Quit, <laughs> which is the magenta colored one. Now the wands on these are kind of interesting, like the little doe foot. I'm going to see if I can kind of wipe this off. Like it's kind of like at an angle and it kind of like hugs your lips. So like I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about, how it kind of like is at an angle but it kind of curves up on the ends which is pretty interesting I like the way it feels when you're putting it on your lips so like as you can see like these things are so pigmented okay so that's what this shade looks like on and it's starting to dry down now and get more matte I think my lights are like a little too bright right now so as you can see like it is slightly darker than like what's in the tube I find that like once it kind of dries down that it does get a little darker I feel like my hair looks so weird today I don't know what is going on with me and my hair like I feel like this side is like real poof and then this side is just I don't know like it's just strange I don't know it's probably just me um but yeah it dries down a little darker like I said I do find it to be like really long wearing um, at least for the most part, like after you eat something, especially if it was greasy, it kind of wears off the lipstick. But if you just ate normal stuff, it does last through that. Um, it almost has a little bit of like a tacky feel to it, like as it's drying and like once it dries. Um, and it doesn't feel like uncomfortable on the lips at first. It's just like throughout the day, which most like matte liquid lipsticks kind of do that to me anyhow. Um, you know, it kind of just feels like a normal matte liquid lipstick. So like, see, like once you get them things on, like it is so hard to get them off. Like I'm probably going to have to get like an oil to put on my lips to get them off. 
So yeah, I'm just going to be using some coconut oil on a Q-tip to get these off in between putting them on. And they do stain your lips pretty good. Oh, my foundation is going to have to be like touched up so bad after this swatching. So the next one I'm going to swatch is How Fleek Is Your Love, which is the really bright red which I love this one. It's definitely my favorite one out of this collection, but you all know that I love red lips. This color is just so, so pretty. It's a really nice red. It's more on the like orange red of things. I'm sorry that I keep fooling with my hair today. I just feel like it looks so weird. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, it's more on the warm tone red of things. So if you're the type of person that looks better in cool tone reds, this might not be the red for you. But, I don't know, it's just really pretty, it's a nice red, it's not like too, too bright, but it's not too dark either. It's just such a nice red. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. The next one I'm going to swatch is in Don't Be a Plum Plum, because no one likes to be a plum plum. Um, so I know this isn't like the best application with this one. It's like my lips look lopsided because I got like two outside the lines over here. Um, but that's what this one looks like. I mean, honestly, once this thing starts drying down on me, it looks so, so dark. Um, I think this would be a really cool like lipstick color for me to use like in a really like vampy fall makeup tutorial. So maybe i'll have to use this in a makeup tutorial if you guys would like to see it in a tutorial let me know down in the comments um i mean i think it looks really good with this makeup look i got going on today so um you know you could always wear this lipstick color with this look okay so i'm trying to use concealer to cover up the stain okay so the very last one is take it like a vamp and i'm telling you guys this thing looks pretty much black once you get it on at least it does on me so this is just like a super, super, super dark berry. I don't know if you can tell on the wand, like how it has that berry undertone. But yeah, you see on me, it looks black. Okay, so that's what that color looks like once you get it on. I mean, it makes your teeth look super white, but this color is so dark. It's crazy how dark it is. Um, but yeah. So that was all four of these liquid lipsticks swatched. Um, like I said, if you're more on the fair side, I'd probably just stick to these two unless you like super, super dark lips. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys, I feel like I look so weird right now. I hope that you guys did enjoy this review swatch and giveaway video on all these new limited edition Wet n Wild products. If you'd like to enter my giveaway, just follow the rules down below and I'll probably pick a winner like in a week um, and I'll let you guys know um, here on YouTube and on Instagram and also on Twitter who wins the giveaway. So just kind of be following me on all those social, me social media sites. But um, like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, give it a thumbs up or let me know down in the comments and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.